Here's an example of a client who is six weeks post-stroke. As would be expected at six weeks post-stroke, he has muscle weakness and decreased hand function and is unable to extend his fingers for any functional grasping and releasing. Here he is fit with the Sableflex dynamic orthoses, which prepositions the hand in a functional position in preparation for grasping. He is therefore able to use his own volitional flexion and relies on spring-assisted extension assist to release. He is therefore able to now participate in high repetitive task-oriented evidence-based treatment approaches. It is the hand that is critical to the functional use of the upper extremity. It is the hand that guides the arm. It should therefore make sense that if a client has any hope of regaining functional use of the upper extremity, the hand is key to successful outcomes. Here he is, six months post-stroke, using his affected arm and hand functionally. If we weren't able to incorporate his hand early on, would he be one of the 50 to 60% of stroke survivors still unable to use their hand even after having received traditional therapies?